All right, this one around the So in point uh, in drill 3.5, we are asked to find uh, electric flux density on this sphere, in part beyond this sphere, in part beyond this sphere, and the charge distribution which has been given to us is uh, 0.25 micro coulomb charge at origin and a sheet of charge in the form of a sphere uh, of radius 1 centimeter and the density of the sheet at this sphere is 2 milli coulombs per meter square and there is another sheet of charge <coughs> which is located at 1.8 centimeters radius sphere and the density is in minus. So this uh, problem uh, should not be difficult again if you have grasped the concepts so in part a we are asked to find flux density uh, in some sphere which is which has got the radius of 0 0.05 which is definitely smaller than uh, 0.5 centimeters which is definitely smaller than this first sphere which is of uh, radius 1 centimeters so the total uh, charge we have to find the total flux density uh, or electric flux density so for that we uh, know that electric flux density is nothing but uh, total charge enclosed uh, by this sphere because that will be the total flux which will be leaving the sphere divided by 4 pi r square whatever the radius of this dotted sphere is we'll have to take uh, we'll have to uh, divide uh, that radius here uh, squared okay so this will be the magnitude and since uh, this is a positive charge and flux is going out obviously in radial direction so d will be like this so uh, what we'll have to do is just do the simple maths the total charge enclosed by this imaginary sphere over which we have to find calculate we will have to calculate a d electric flux density is 0.25 microns divided by 4 pi uh, r square which is we should convert it in meters and yeah just solve it you will get the answer part b in part b how much uh, flux density is available as available at this second dotted sphere whose radius is 1.5 centimeters definitely greater than the inner sphere uh, so now we should not draw this one because it will confuse us now its problem has been solved so let's discuss this dotted sphere now so the total charge enclosed by this dotted sphere should be calculated the total charge enclosed by this dotted sphere will be equal to the total flux leaving this sphere once we know the total flux we will divide that flux by the area of this sphere okay so the total charge enclosed by total charge enclosed by this dotted sphere will be equals to 0.25 micro coulombs plus the charge on this sphere the charge on this sphere uh, can be known because can be can be calculated because we know that the uh, area of this sphere is uh, how much the area is 4 pi r square so 4 pi r is nothing but 0 0.01 squared this is the area if you multiply it by rho s so th uh, that will be 2 exponent minus 3 so this is the charge on the inner sphere uh, once we calculate this we will be able to find the q total okay once we get q total uh, d will be equals to q total the total amount of charge enclosed by this sphere uh, which will be equal to the total flux so actually we are in the numerator since we are calculating flux density this uh, this should be treated as flux crossing uh, this is sphere divided by the area of that sphere which is 4 pi r square and this time r is 0 0.015 squared this is the magnitude and the, the flux will be in the direction of ar because <coughs> charge is symmetrically distributed so recall the michael faraday's experiment in part c what we have to do is 
uh, we have to calculate now uh, we should forget about this sphere okay we should forget about this sphere and we should concentrate on a sphere which is even larger 2.5 centimeters the outer charge sheet is of 1.8 centimeters so this one is definitely larger than all larger than all so this is uh, 2.5 centimeters or 0.025 meters is the uh, radius of the sphere we have to find the total flux crossing it uh, sorry uh, we have to find the flux density at this sphere so for flux density we should know the flux crossing this sphere for flux we should know the total charge enclosed by this imaginary sphere so total charge enclosed is 0.25 microns plus charge on this inner sphere which we have already calculated here so i'm just repeating 2 milli multiply by 4 pi 0 0.01 squared this is the charge on this inner sphere plus the charge on this outer sphere which is minus point, point 0.6 minus point 0.6 milli so instead of putting minus inside I am just putting the minus outside of the bracket point 0.6 milli multiplied by the area which is 4 pi and the radius is 0 0.0 0 0.018 squared so calculate this and you will get q total so to get electric flux density just take this q total divided by 4 pi 4 pi not epsilon naught because we are calculating electric flux density and the radius of this sphere which is 0 0.025 squared this is the the uh, uh, magnitude of flux density multiplied by ar <coughs> because again the flux is symmetrically distributed so uh, i would like to calculate it for the final part uh, 0 0.25 plus 2 milli okay let me calculate it okay so the for part c the total charge enclosed by this imaginary sphere is 320.4 nanocoulombs with a positive sign okay so you can just replace this value here and do the maths and if i would do the maths quickly for you I'll get 40.8 which is the correct answer micron 40.8 40.8 AR micro columns per meter square so always write your units uh, with the uh, answer and in part D what we are asked to do let me quote it for you what uniform surface charge density should be established at r equals 3 to cause electric flux density d to be 0 at r equals 3.5 so now forget about this as well so now it says that uh, what field what uh, what uniform surface charge density in part D will have to calculate what sheet of charges should be established at uh, r equals 3 centimeters which is equals to 0 0.03 meters so it's better to convert the units in SI system immediately then and there what uh, rho s should be established here and the radius is 3 centimeters so that if we would calculate flux on this sphere of radius radius uh, three point five centimeters, 
so the flux should be flux density should be zero so what flux uh, what uh, charge density should be established at this which so that d is equals to zero at r equals 3.5 so in other words what it is saying it is asking us to uh, make the total charge enclosed by this 3.5 centimeter sphere it is asking us to the total charge enclosed by this 3.5 centimeters sphere zero we have to make the charge enclosed by this sphere equal to zero so definitely uh, the charge which was present here here and here the total charge is this much 320 nanocoulomb so definitely in part d the total charge on this sheet should be uh, total charge let let q prime total be the total charge on this r equals to 3 centimeters sheet which we have to establish so this charge should be how much negative of 320.4 nanocoulombs if we establish this total amount of charge here so the total amount of charge on this sphere is minus 320.4 nanocoulomb and the sum of the three charge distributions here this one this sheet and this sheet to in total carries this much amount of charge so the total of this and this would be zero so in that case the total charge enclosed by this 3.5 centimeter sphere would be zero so no flux will be crossing this outer sphere so the flux density would be zero so now rho s which we should establish here should be equals to minus 320.4 nano divided by 4 pi and radius which is 3 centimeters so 0 0.0 3 squared. Solve this and you should get the answers.